Some people ask me, Bob, is all acting character acting? And my answer is yes. Now, uh-oh, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you have to transform yourself the way Daniel Day-Lewis does or the way Meryl Streep does. No, it doesn't mean that. But it does mean that you do a lot of internal work. Your mother might say to you, oh, it was just like you on the screen. You'll laugh because you'll know that you've done hundreds of hours of work on, on the role. So it's not you at all. You're not playing you. You're not playing yourself. But it doesn't have to be externalized. It can be internal. If you look at the, ver the movie The Verdict with Paul Newman, you see that he's wonderful in that role. He won the Academy Award for that role. He doesn't change a lot. It's like he's using the voice, the Paul Newman voice. He's using his body. Maybe there's a slight alteration that maybe only he would know. But there's definitely a character there. You understand, you under, he understands the plight of that character, the emotionality of that character, and we get that. You know, back in the old days, and still today, you have actors like John Wayne, he didn't really change very much. Henry Fonda didn't change very much. Uh, James Stewart was pretty much the same in every role. So we used to call them personality actors, and we still have them today. But the distinction I want you to get is that Yes, there are some actors that transform themselves, like Daniel Day-Lewis, and then there are other actors, like Paul Newman, who you could say doesn't transform himself that much, but does a lot of internal work, all right? But the main thing I want you to understand is that all acting is character acting. It's not about you playing yourself.